Folks, hello, welcome back to the channel. It's good to be here, huh? It is so good to be here. I'm it, honored. People, I'm sure you got excited by the title, and we've been excited for this mm -hmm. idea for months now. <sighs> it's a book swap. It's not just any other book swap. It is a 24-hour reading challenge book swap. If you are not aware what the book swaps, if you're new to the channel, this is something my wife and I do periodically. Of course, stick around and watch my video, but afterwards, please go and watch her video over on hers. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. I just gave her <laughs> I just gave her some amazing books to read. You gotta you gotta go watch to see her reactions because oh it gosh. is going to be absolutely wild. It's gonna stretch me. It's gonna stretch you for sure. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I have nightmares. Well I'm not going to sleep, so You're fine! Yeah, fine. Nightmares avoided? I, I gave her a scary book. Yes, I did. So get ready for that. Yeah. But folks, I'm ready to get my books. I am so excited to give you your books. I think, honestly, this might be the lineup that I'm most excited to give you. And I have been wanting you to read for so long. <laughs> Wait, I just remembered another one that I love. <laughs> oh my god. I can't decide. My lady love. Okay. I'm ready for my books. Let me go get my books. Or shall I say Ian's? Okay, so I decided, I kept going back and forth on giving you the lineup that I'm really excited for you to read. Okay. Or giving you two of the books I really want you to read and then one that I haven't read. Okay. But I think you'd like. And I kept going back and forth, but I decided to give you the three that I really want you to read. Good, that's that's awesome. Thank you. That's so Free. cute. Okay, shall I give you the first one? Yes, you shall. Okay, so the first one I'm going to be giving you, I have been wanting to give you since the first book book swap. What? You probably know what it is. Oh, dude, is it freaking Allie Hazelwood Love Hypothesis? Yes! <laughs> it is The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. This is one of my favorite books ever. Yeah, I remember you, you yeah, it's been your favorite book <laughs> since last year. Yes. This time. I read it and I'm like, this is my favorite. <laughs> Other than Akatar. I love this book so much. I have an unhealthy attachment to it. And <laughs> I just think it's so, um, it. I hate my life. <laughs> Spam. Stop calling me! Did I hang up? <laughs> oh wow! I hope that works! Dude, they keep calling. Wait, I really hope that works. They need to be told. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute. This is a science-based romance. Mm -hmm. And I love Allie Hazelwood's prose. Like, ah, she's so good. <laughs> she is so good. Her writing is so freaking funny. So anyway, I am so excited Woo! for you to read that. Yes, love it. I'm so excited for you to read that. This next one, actually, I'm going to switch it up. This next one, I recently read in the fall. And it's quickly becoming a series that I'm really liking. Series. Yes. It is The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. No way. This is a young adult. I guess it's technically a mystery, but it feels very thriller. Okay. Very thriller. And basically, it's if crim if criminal Okay. If Criminal Minds... Can I take your time? It's basically if Criminal Minds had a program for teenagers. And all of oh. these kids in this program, they have these gifts, basically. And so that's why the FBI has kind of wanted them in this little program. Next up, I love this book so much. And I know a lot of people may not like it. But personally, I thought it was so beautiful. It made me cry, laugh everything i felt all the emotions and you can open your eyes it's one day in december oh. by josie silver wait a lot of people didn't like this i could see why a lot of people don't like it okay i wouldn't say this is just a romance i think it's more it kind of tells the light of literary fiction Does it really? a little bit i think because a lot of the stuff that's discussed here like it is a romance but i mean you're going through 10 years that's of crazy. these people's lives Okay. So it's a 10 year timeline and it's so beautiful. It's just, you go through heartbreak and it's, wow. I hope you like those. There's another one that I really wanted to give you so bad, well, but I, was, I can't tell you. You can't tell me. Should I tell you? Yes, tell me. The seven year slip. I was thinking that's what this was going to be. Well, awesome. Thank you. You like them. I'm excited. I'm excited to see so excited. why you love them. That's the whole point of book swaps. Yeah. Exactly. Why do we like books? Why does exactly. the other person like books? I'm really excited for you to read them. I'm so excited to read them. Shall we start our... Count down the clocks. Let's go. Okay. All right. <sighs> Let's begin. Let's begin.
right, folks, we need to talk about this book. I decided to start with One Day in December by Josie Silver. This, <laughs> the whole point of the story is these people see each other at a bus stop. One of them's on the bus, one of them's at the bus stop. They have this intense connection, you know, without even knowing each other. It's love at first sight. He tries to race after the bus. She can't freaking move to get off the bus because she's like paralyzed in love. Well, I, or, don't we all get that way? It just sets off this chain of events. She tries to hunt him down for a year and then her best friend, the person that she shares an apartment with, walks in with the same dude as her boyfriend for a Christmas party. And the events that are unraveling as we go along so far have been very interesting. I am like 75 pages in. It is, it has been an hour. Wow, that's the most pages I've ever read in an hour. Goodness gracious, I can already say I really like the humor. Josie Silver is really, really good with her prose. Right now, I'm hating the love interest's relationship with Lori, because right now you, you could tell that they, they know who each other is. They know that they saw each other and fell in love at a bus stop. But right now what's going on, it's like, you really need to think about your actions before you do anything. And I, I just, you know, I think there's a little bit of that hidden trope that I hate, which is um, miscommunication. I feel like Lori should be really honest with her roommate, but she's not. And I feel like that may cause some tension later on. Excited to continue. I'll catch back up with you in a little bit. Oh, people, freaking 171 pages in. Where are we in our time? Two and a half hours. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. What to even say about this book? It's so emotional at times and so funny at others. And then of course there's wretched freaking sexual content that you have to skip because it's just fruitless and pointless and worthless. I, I could have sworn we're at this part, they're at a dinner party and somebody gets a call that they keep ignoring because they're mad at the person who's calling them. Didn't realize it was actually going to end up being something serious. I thought it was going to be like a joke, like a way to like, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't think it'd be this moment of serious tension, but goodness gracious, I feel like we're, it's about to get to another emotional part and there's already been too many of them in this book. Ashlyn knows how to pick them. One day in December by Josie Silver. Why was this book so emotional? Why was this so wrought with raw human emotion? These characters were so flawed, but they were so well done. I hated many aspects of this book. I did, I really did. Not hate in the sense that I wouldn't recommend it. I knew it. I predicted it earlier in this video and it happened. Go back to my prediction if you have no idea what I'm talking about, but I knew it would blow up in everybody's face. If there's one thing that's going to be used as a terrible plot device, it's miscommunication. And it happened. Everything gets resolved in the end the way it should, and I'm quite happy for it. I think it's time we pick another book. Alrighty, folks. Where in the heck are we? I have not updated you in so long. I'm really bad at this. I am really bad at this 24 hour challenge thing or, or timer challenge, but I am coming up on seven hours. <sighs> we finished a book, we started another one, and I'm actually on page 75 <laughs> already. And this is my first maybe hour into the book. If you're not familiar with like Jennifer Lynn Barnes books, they're really, really fast. They're incredibly fast paced, extremely readable. You can fly through these if you put your mind to it. The Naturals, The Naturals is essentially teenage FBI serial killer hunters. <laughs> okay. Special program in the FBI that recruits and trains teenagers with more than usual, uh, more than normal, extra normal, shall we say, Ab Abby normal abnormal skills in perception, in emotional reading, in facial recognition, and I think the most interesting part of this book so far is the letters that you get from. They're excerpts from like a journal or something from the serial killer themselves. Oh my gosh. That's probably the darkest and the most, the most gruesome I've ever seen Jennifer Lynn Barnes go without making it adult. <laughs> Bye. 
Now, I knew The Naturals was gonna be good. Jennifer Lynn Barnes is a very talented author. She's very good with the psychology of writing, keeping you guessing and keeping you going because she has so many variables going together at once. And she has so many things that are like throwing you. Oh, there's Ashley. Huh? There she is. Hi. <laughs> anyway, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's the cutest person in the whole world. <laughs> Can you tell we're already cracking? Can you tell we're already? <laughs> what are we even at? I'm really bad at these 24 hour challenges. That's why I don't do them. Meshack, why are you just chowing down over there? He's always chowing down when I don't need him to. Okay, wow, only eight and a half hours in. I'm over 50% though, 50% of the way. Done with the naturals. Are you gonna, hey, stop smacking your lips near the camera. Meow. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Stop smacking your lips. Ooh. Get mister. Get there, mister. Believe me. Forget. I dropped the book on the floor. All right. What the heck is going on in the naturals? You probably want to know. The group of naturals, the young teenage people that have been recruited by the FBI. They're, they're, they're I don't know. They're kind of getting roped into an actual serial killer case. And some very interesting things have come to light that the main character, Cassie, has just figured out about her past. There may be some connections to her present. That was extremely vague. I like that writing, I like that twist. I honestly didn't see that one kind of fitting into this story. Very well done. This dog and his clip clop nails are gonna be the death of me. I'm trying to film! You bring me offerings. You bring me peace offerings, do you? Do you now? Hey Mish. I gotta finish this! I gotta finish my rant and my monologue, okay? Let's resume. Wow, I'm not done yet. Oh no. Oh, I still have some sort of percentage left. I don't even think I made it that far into the, where the heck's in the phone? Yeah, I'm, it's only been 20 minutes. Come on. It's only been 20 minutes. When it's good, it's good. I thought the plot twist that I just, you know, just got over processing was gonna be the plot twist for a while. I didn't think there'd be a second, especially leading into part three. I mean, you know, where I'm at, part three in the book. I look good, mm -hmm. What? Let's just say the main character, Cassie, is gonna have a lot to go through, a lot to handle soon. Okay, what? I didn't anticipate there being connections. This is great. I'm so glad I broke up these two romance books with this. go again with the YA love triangle in the middle of the world falling apart. <sighs> Save it for later guys, come on. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Has this just ended up being one of those? The phone calls coming from inside the house. Dude, is it is it the dude that owns the house? I, I doubt it's one of the freaking, wait. Interesting. This has, become, this has become one of those situations where you can't trust anybody in the scene. You can't trust a soul. Yes, I know. <laughs> you can't trust anybody in the house. Like, if anyone could spot the killer, I want you to find Dean. Dean is a no-go. Don't go to Dean. Yeah. It could be Dean. Yeah. Jennifer Lynn Barnes is making me mistrust everyone. Betty from Riverdale stuff going on. I don't know if it's a true red flag, but there's like a ghost red flag. Oh. Let's just keep it where we can see it. <laughs> yeah. Sloan, we know it's not Sloan. Yeah. There's no way she has to be. She has to have something. I hate how there's freaking... Like, that's the light that I want. Where is that? Better? Is that better? I can't tell if this angle's good. <laughs> the twists just keep coming. And her chapters are so short, you eat them up like candy. Oh, okay, I got like freaking 10 pages left. Let's go.
bit extreme, excessive. <laughs> Unload that clip, son. Unload it. The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Riveting. Absolutely riveting. Wow. 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 Um, I have no idea where we're at. 11 hours. Eight minutes, well, nine minutes. This has become a 24 hour radiothon. As you can tell behind me, it is daylight. And the covers are ruffled and I look like this. Yep, Ashlyn and I, we fell into the warm, loving embrace of Pure, sweet, tender sleep. And I don't regret it one single bit. These challenges are really hard. And I know some people go, eh, you didn't do it correctly. Eh, you didn't do it all the way. It's hard, okay? Just try it, try it for yourself. They're not the funnest thing to do. I did start, <laughs> I did start Allie Hazelwood's The Love Hypothesis. Um, did not make it far at all. We ended our time at 13 hours, uh, 18 minutes. We're close. We've got a whole another day. Rethons. What can I say? This should not take me all that long. This should take me probably the rest of the morning and into early afternoon. So, what we're gonna do, Ashton and I are gonna get a little bit ready for the day before we kind of hop back into this. It's kind of that long breath before the tumble, the before the plunge off the cliff. I'll see you when I start reading the book. <laughs> Hi, Bubba. He doesn't care about booktube. I thought I'd give you all an update before I get any further in this book. Sitting at 15 hours, 17 minutos. Love Hypothesis, pretty far along. I think I'm on page 153 on chapter nine. The chapters, Allie Hazelwood, she has longer chapters than I thought she would. Is that guy just throwing snow off the roof? This person's just throwing snow off the roof. Does this make me nosy? I can't believe the audacity. Anyway. Anyhow. Oh. <laughs> there we go, you don't wanna see that close up. I did not expect her chapters to be so long. For, for a romance novel, for a romance novel, you know, they're, they're 20 plus pages, almost 30 pages. It's unusual, I think for a romance, right? I'm not read many. What to say about Love Hypothesis? This is, it's really, really, really funny. I'm loving Miss Hazelwood's approach to comedy, but there's also been some very insightful things said. Love the vocabulary, freaking love it. This is getting crazy. <laughs> what? to catch you up on. So Olive found out who the man in the prologue is, which is a very nice twist, by the way. But I think we have to talk about what's going on with old Tom. We knew that he was a butthole, and we know that uh, Adam's kind of been very weary of him. Tom is one of those guys that seems to be ambitious to the point of manipulating others. That is going to hopefully blow up in his face. Olive is amazing, she's sweet, she's kind, she's adorable, and I feel like when Adam finds out, this will be some hell to pay. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> thought you'd ought to know. I find it so humorous. 
how Adam, the love interest, can be so squeamish. He's afraid of needles. He's afraid of germs. He's afraid of the all-you-can-eat sushi bar. It's the funniest thing in the world. And like just adding little things like that makes me makes me enjoy Adam's character more. It's really relatable. Um, and Adam as a character is wonderful. I feel like something spicy is about to happen. And it's not the sushi. That was that was a pun and then it was it was intended. Wrap-up time, wrap-up time, wrap-up time. Guys, we ended, we finally ended our challenge at 22 hours, almost 50 minutes. So we were just under an hour left of the challenge when we both finished. You wanna hear what I think? Yes, I'm so excited to hear. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have been waiting. The first book that I completed was One Day in December by Josie Silver. Oh my gosh. Romance novel, yeah. drama, parts of it were extremely comedic. I mean- Right? So funny. The whole point of the book, to sum it up in two or three sentences, this man and this woman, they see each other at a bus stop. She's on the bus, he's on the sidewalk. They lock eyes, they have this electric connection. They fall in love at first sight, and then they never see each other again because the bus goes on. Yeah. In the rest of the book, we get a 10 year look into their lives and relationships. Every single thing in this book felt absolutely realistic. Yes. So realistic. Yeah, like this it is does. this totally would have happened. You're just gonna have to read it to find out what happens at the end. So good. Yes, it actually was very, very good. Ah. Because there were some things in it that I was kind of like, okay, all the sexual stuff. Yeah. It always comes out of nowhere, and I hate it so much. Same. That's the only reason why I was on the cusp of giving it five stars. Why well, didn't? Because of how much it crept up, I'm giving it a 3.75. <laughs> okay. I think without it, it would have been a solid 4.25. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So you weren't even gonna give it like, Close to five. 4.25 is pretty dang near close to five. <laughs> like, if it was just one scene that you had to say, cool, but it just all the time. No, I was frustrated too. With all it. the time. It was giving me Sarah J. Mass flashbacks, and I was. <laughs> Josie Silver, One Day in December, good read. 3.75. 3.75. That's actually pretty good. Dang. The next book Jennifer Lynn Barnes. The, the next. Book. The first book in the quartet of the naturals. That one is so good. It is the best Jennifer Lynn Barnes book ever written. Actually, I kind of agree. I love the aspect of hunt down serial killers. Yeah, me too. And the whole dude you aspect of it, which is like you yeah. talked about it a little bit. Yep. That is so creepy. Getting the thoughts, the inside thoughts of the serial killer as you're going along. Yep. And how that propels the plot even further. It's like she used those sections as springboards to the next big thing. Yeah. If you you guys saw it at the end, you guys saw my reaction. Wait, I think she wrote this first. What do you mean? Before um, Inheritance Games. Well, I'm sure. I'm talking like the U sections propelled <laughs> the plot of the book. <laughs> Am I a reader or what? This has absolutely nothing to do with the Inheritance Games, if you're wondering. <laughs> oh my freaking chat. Oh it, it, it. <laughs> It's crazy. It's crazy. That, that made a auto sound. It's crazy. Yeah. This was amazing. This is a 4.25. I've never given a Jennifer Lynn Barnes book that high of a rating. Oh, wow. But this one deserves it. Wait, that's awesome. Okay, here we go. The one that I will accept no credits in the one. You're going to get it. <laughs> the book we're talking about is The Love Hypothesis by <gasps> Ali Heisman. Olive and Adam. Adam Driver, whatever her face is from Star Wars. <laughs> Princess Leia. <laughs> You're giving me the best stuff to edit. <laughs> the Love Hypothesis follows the story of Olive and Adam. 
pretty much basically all of the entire way. Yeah. She is this grad student at Stanford and she's really trying to make it in the STEM field, extremely competitive. Um, and so what's funny is the book uh, begins with her making out with some random dude. Really? When she comes to, she realizes that she's making out with a professor. I'm gonna cut this out, because I'm saying it weird. And your face is like, that's not what's happening. I know that's what happened in this book. She's running away from her best friend, because her best friend wants to talk about this uh -huh. boy that she wants to date. And she ends up kissing the first person she sees in the hallway. It ends up being a professor. Yeah. It launches them into a fake dating scenario that ends Sorry. up being hilarious. You said make out. That's exactly how it starts. In Olive's defense, the man didn't seem to mind the kiss too much. It literally just... <laughs> Until they start talking, can I please kiss you? Like, the, all of this is about her freaking kissing him. Oh. The whole, like the first two pages. In my mind, it was just like a second. The first two and a half pages. Oh, wow. I literally was like, what has she got me that. into? <laughs> and after that rumor spread, people are like, oh my gosh, you're dating. And they're like, oh my gosh, no, we're not. But then they start talking and they're like, well, we both have something to gain yes. if we keep the rumor going. <laughs> of all the romance as like the, the main focus of the story, uh -huh. I think Allie Hazelwood has made the funniest one. Oh yeah. Oh she, yeah. She has the best humor of any romance that I've read. Yeah, she doesn't unlike the others. Okay, so the only thing that I, I really didn't like about this, of course, there is two chapters that you have to skip because it's pretty much just them in a hotel room. I'm not gonna lie, the the character Malcolm, I don't like him at all. Oh, yeah. See, I didn't even remember him. All I remembered that I loved is Olive and Adam. <laughs> and then when you're like, oh, so, and then you mentioned Malcolm, and I'm like, who's that again? I just felt like he was the most annoying part of the whole friendship. Malcolm just seemed a little over the top and so bloody sensitive. And he also said some filthy things. Really? Yes. I was a little put off by that character. Okay, that totally makes sense. Those are my only two grievances. So I give this 3.75. Really? Ah, well, actually. Yeah, no, 3.75. That's good. What cool. were you going to do, Galore? I was going to go 3.5. <laughs> Whichever. I'll take both. 3.5. Wow. That's, that's where my heart's landing. Oh my gosh. That's where I'm landing, yeah. I'm surprised you even liked it a little. That's the thing. Anything over a three star is likable, readable, enjoyable, and this was all three of them. And it's so cute. Anywho, so that's it. Wow. Oh my gosh. I am glad that you enjoyed. Yeah them for the most part it seems <laughs> i really did the naturals i'm very surprised the naturals that was always going to be the best one i think yeah i went into that going i'm gonna like this and i did all right folks that is it yeah that's all that is it we're definitely going to be revisiting this concept in the future so mm -hmm. drop your comments down below what kind of version of a book swap do you want us to do yeah give us your I ideas that. we want to hear what you guys have a sword because a lot of you are super creative. This was great. I, I love doing this with you. This is so fun. Yeah, and it, it helps broaden yeah. my horizons. I didn't think that I'd be reading two romance novels at the beginning of the year, but I am. And I love it. Aww. Love Good. it so much. So, folks. I'm so happy you got to read some of my favorite books. All right, folks. We're going to be signing out of here. We'll catch you later. Bye, guys.